Ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about social dancing and my top three arms for how to look stylish, sensual, beautiful, confident on the social dance floor. If you find my content helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to help me grow my channel and reach all the beautiful ladies in the world to help them feel confident and beautiful on the dance floor. Let's go. Okay, so the first arm is gonna be a port bra arm and it looks like this. So this arm can be combined with many other elements of styling, but also beautiful only by itself. To be able to make this look effortless, make sure you use your core, your frame. I talk about this in my beginner's guide to salsa styling, so check the video out. Think that you are holding a big balloon in your arms so you have space and energy flow through your frame. So, arms comes up and make sure you have continuous line here so it's not broken. And then think like a flower opening so it doesn't just go down but you open and they flow down. Also breathing helps, so inhale and exhale. You can use it with one arm, also with the other. So one, two, three, five, six, seven. You can also go the other way, one, two, three, five, six, seven. So this is beautiful and breathy, flowy arms. Let's do them with a basic. One, two, three, and let's go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. You can choose opening, and when they are here, I switch and pull them down. So, again, beginner's guide to salsa. I talk more about how to use your arms, connect them to your back. So, pull down, or you can just all the way down. This arm I would use from turning. Also, it can be very easily combined from here. Instead of going only down, you can open. I use this so much. So if you get stuck with your partner and he has his arms and you're turning, it's perfect place to open your arms with the port bra to connect again with his frame. basic turn yes so many options if you're new to this type of styling and use it on the dance floor let me know how it goes write me in the comments I really hope it's helpful for you this is one of my favorite arms to use in salsa romantica so tell me how do you feel using it okay ladies so the second arm I used a lot and all of you <laughs> use a lot in social dancing is arms for turning I have a separate video, or it will come very soon, a separate video for styling for turns. Only three arms for turns, but this is the one I use most of the time for turning. So a bit of a tip is in salsa, you want to make sure you have your elbow connected in the line of your ear as much as possible. Of course, depending on the flexibility in your joint, but try to have them open without swaying too much. Okay, also because of going around you get a lot of force so you want to have the arms close to your body. 
So having them high up will be a lot more difficult for your balance. So I keep my arms close right above my head. Check out my arm styling for a spinning video for more options, but this is the one I use definitely the most. I hold my left arm with my right. So this is my left, I hold. Okay, so this is the arms I use with turning a lot. From here, you can open like the first one, or you can just go down the body or to your frame. So I lift my arms from whatever position, it can be from the sides, straight up, or it can be coming here. But I hold because I like to spin fast, <laughs> so to fight the force you have when you turn, I'm not sure the English word, but centrifugal <laughs> kraft, okay? You want to hold so you're stable and strong. So lifting, turning, going down to your frame, or opening, closing, or opening here. Okay. From basic, one, two, three, and we go up and hold. this arm you can use from any step and there is not one right way to do it you can use it for anything but this is my main choice for spinning very important side note is to be very careful with how you have your arms up and the direction of them we all have seen the guys getting elbowed in the face so that's also why you want to have the arms open and not in front of you too much okay also going down make sure you have a clear path of opening so you don't knock someone out <laughs> do you have any stories about knocking someone out on the dance floor <laughs> please tell me <laughs> in the comments i would be interested to know it happened to me definitely to me and i did it so let's be careful out there Okay, let's do our final arm for social dancing. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you find my content helpful. Also share if you have some friends that you think will enjoy this video and others. Okay, so the final arm I like to use to spice it up a little bit on the dance floor is rotations. It's from flamenco dancing, but I love adding this in just my social dancing to make it more effortless and just interesting to look at. So let's go through how to use it. I rotate my arm in, start with my little finger and I rotate and I grab something. So also just rotate the whole wrist. You can do for more effect. I would use this from out, just like a sidestep or a prop. You can honestly use this with any of your stylings. You can add a little arm. You can add this little rotation to add a lot more flair. If you are interested in learning some more styling that is to spice things up a little bit, please write me and I can make a video for you. I have lots of them. <laughs> Let's do it with moving. So I do, for example, sidestep. I can maybe cross my arms and out, in. Also to the front and back. Let's do it with basics. Hey ladies, that was my three tips for social dancing styling. If you found this content helpful, 
please like, share, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow my channel and to reach more and more ladies to make them feel confident, beautiful, strong, empowered on the dance floor. That's my mission and I hope you will join me. So I really appreciate your support so much. Thank you and I will see you in another one. Bye!